All right, welcome back, folks. And when we last left off, things happened. We started the game. We are on a mission in Nibelheim. We are looking for a problem with a reactor. And we are in a flashback right now. I think that pretty much covers everything. I also messed around with a little bit of the color to do with this. Um, like, I, I've looked at my settings for this one and configuring the video for it i messed around a little bit with the settings like i can i can do a little bit of this that actually actually that looks maybe a little better i'm still going to be playing around with it if you have any suggestions please throw it my way because capture cards are annoying cool but annoying so anyway, Sephiroth has joined our party. We haven't... I guess we should take a peek, right? Right? I mean, how often do you get to play as a legend? Let's take a look at his equipment. That's us. That's a moon. Fortitude ring. Can I get details on this? I don't think I can. I can look at his material, though. Revival. Good. Healing. Wind. Everything's maxed out. This guy's slightly better than us. Ability. Hell's Gate. Julio. Place where we can restore our HP and MP. I'm fine with that. In hard mode, you don't get MP back. That's the challenge. All right. Nearing on. Sephiroth, pretty fun to play as. Much more skilled character than Cloud in terms of execution, making it look good. But we won. Good on us. And we can change the character whom we would like to control in this. So we, what is it? Combat settings, leader. We want to be cloud, but we'll be cloud for plenty of time. Also, something that I do want to get out of the way. I really like playing as basically every character in this game. We haven't seen them all yet, obviously. So we're still at the beginning, but there isn't a character that I don't enjoy playing as. So I'll probably be swapping back and forth. More Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. Let's not waste any time. Zephyroth's teleport is particularly just really good. Also, we haven't used any of his ability. What's the engine? Oh, wow. That just kills him. Cool. Didn't know this on my first playthrough. You can break these and get uh, stuff from them. Cool little detail. Oop. We don't have to. I have to live up a little bit to the title of full playthrough, right? Empowerment materia, which is... Neat. I like always new materials that I haven't played around with. We should take a peek at it, I guess. See what it does. Cloud. Equip. Get rid of fire. Empowerment. It causes bravery and faith. Bravery makes you stronger at physical attacks. Physical musical attacks. And faith is good for magic. And you know what? We'll We'll take it. We'll equip that. We also have HP up materia, which does exactly what you think it does. HP goes up. More useful for Cloud right now, who doesn't have a ton of HP. Beautiful crystal Mako caves. Come on, jump down. And a Mako Spring, no less. 
This game does wonders with colors. A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. Sidestep. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does materia let you cast spells exactly? How did you ever get to be a soldier? Mm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird, or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... Mm, is not. He is anything but... Putting it lightly. We should press on. And on we shall press. First file for about an hour was uh, roughly about... don't like these things. Uh, for whatever reason, Sephiroth's parry time is very different. Thankfully, you hit him with one of those attacks. You can get through it relatively easily. No problems whatsoever. What was I saying? Oh yeah, first file size seems about 11 gigabytes, which is fairly big, but hopefully it represents good quality on when it's uploaded to YouTube. I've changed my recording settings to be higher quality. We've already said that. All right. Dungeon. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Cloud. Don't want to be anywhere near that when that happens. Let's assess them. Protest creatures that make their home on Mount Nabal, previously unseen in the region, sightings began. The local reactor started malfunctioning. When they sense any danger, they let out an ear. Splitting screech. It's all you. You're in good hands. This way. Gotta remember to be assessing everything. Just because I'm having fun with Sephiroth doesn't mean work ends. Now, a couple things really quickly. I'm gonna say one thing in general. This game does status effects and the whole RPG thing really, really well. 16 was not, but 16 was very enjoyable for other reasons. Also, not to take on 16, but also a praise for 16. 16's water effects are actually really, really good in a lot of places. Especially if you played the DLC. 
There's some absolutely top tier stuff going on there. So shout outs to 16, which is a different kind of experience, but M1 that I still love for different reasons. Because I can do that. Oh, good. Don't watch him. You're gonna get air slash just because. Easy does it. Like the little rocks you can knock off. And small things that are quite neat. Yep. Ooh. Twist my ankle there. Magnify materia. Magnify allows you to cast on multiple characters at once. Normally materia spells and effects only work on one thing. So if you put it on like healing, it allows you to do a group heal, an AoE heal. Good for high value for your MP cost. Also 16 deals with magic. I mean, this isn't a 16 playthrough, but again. that's a big bird. Synergy skills. Pressing R1, your team up with allies for prank. Synergy skills that do not consume ATB charges. So the skills will differ depending on which character is being controlled. I know all of this already. I got this. Uh, let's assess. We should pressure it, but I'm curious. Playing their weakness or inflicting enough damage will pressure them. They are weak to wind. Get I'm being a little bit more, well, more than I'm just a, a little bit aggressive, but that's fine. Should have done the pokes first. Also, if you hold down L1, you can multi-use an item. Thanks for faster menuing. And on the field. And every second counts when your videos end up as 11 gigabytes big. It's not like they're going to stay that long on my hard drive, but you know, conscious about all that. What do we got? MP up? Precision defense. Can't really change Sephiroth, so we're not going to. Precision defense. Extend input timing for window for precision defense, so that where you block all damage. It's nice, it's good. If you have trouble with blocking, just use it. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't use it. Same people who tell you that uh, using summons in Elden Ring is bad. And to that, well, just to hell with that. I'm not going to mince words. I ha don't like people who try and put people down for using stuff that is in the game. It's in the game. It's fair game. Like people who install things to cheat at certain games. Eh, go ahead. Blast them away all you want. Should be turned into frogs or something as punishment. Yo, oh, my goodness, look at all those boxes. Ah! Fun. 
Shout out to whoever decided, you know what? Let's just put destructible boxes with items in it. Great for usefulness. A little bit of RNG, so you get that spike of... What is it? What, do you, what would you call it? Endorphins? It's that good old feeling of being like, oh, yes, I was able to do something sweet. I don't know how that's 20%, but don't argue with the machine. The new Super Vacuum by Dyson. So big, it takes 20 hours to use the damn thing. I saw that materia glow over there. I did not miss that. I can. Comet materia. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. I played this before. I don't remember that being there. I might have missed that on my multiple initial playthroughs. I played the demo a bunch. Comet's pretty cool. Some Final Fantasies, it feels a little too risk rewardy, but cool here. Probably going to be important in our playthrough, if I had to guess. I'm skipping that item. Free heals. Three heels and a giant cave. Hmm. Up ahead. Looks like a way out. Looks like a boss area. Gore shadowing at its finest. Assess. Weak to fire, which is good to know. Evading its capture attempts or freeing captured allies will pressure it, destroying its legs while it's on the ceiling will also pressure it. Good, good to know. Hey, easy there. It's going to do that. Go after Cloud. We gotta wait a minute here. Not doing so great. Rookies. Yes. I owe you one. When we're done. You got a decent shot on there. I was trying to. Doing it again. Damn it. Not again. Get it together. 
Uh, okay. He really wants to lose those legs, doesn't he? Get him. Just angry. Pretty mobile. Till we knock it down. Good All right. Battle, just fight with a sword. Try to keep your guard up. There we go. I did it. I did it. I'm down. Decent damage, not great, but now he's very angry. Phase three. Yep. Hopefully house broken. <clears throat> Angry boy. Synergy abilities allow you to use multiple characters to do powerful attacks that do great stuff like double helix. Right, Let's see it. Sense. Stay alert. On me. Yes, sir. Like here, knocks it down, Whoa. staggers it. Oh, we're worth it. Viraga also gives you a few other benefits, too. Like there you saw we had... Heal me, please. Heal the great several. I'll go off on him though, so. Let's try some Fira. Get in close. Stagger him. Limit break. Shall we finish this the cool way? Think we shall. Octo Slash. the assess data nobody died couldn't have been okay, any better hold up. maybe i'm missing something here but everything you've said makes sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy well he was and now he's pure evil trying to kill everyone on the planet yeah me to understand this shit tell me something that'll really make my blood boil very well you asked for it oh i will I will. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too. Please? No. Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. 
carry on. You better keep me safe. Oh, he will. Or he'll get a sword in the back. Actually, he may get a sword in the back anyway. Dramatic foreshadowing. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output. Like most last gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell <laughs> that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. At least until we caught quits with this damn company. Love the nuts and bolts of stuff like this, where it's like... Very clearly, this world is like its own mechanical doings and whatnot. And the reactors are such a key part of it that getting to explore them is just neat. Like it's like you know that there should be a macro pool down there, so something's off and weird about all of this. And the door is broken. Great. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? I'm not some kind of angel. That's like the greatest little crisis core nod without it drawing too much attention to it. Genova? Wasn't that... The malfunction must be forcing the pods to be pressurized. Cloud. Go out and shut off the valve. Copy. Mm -hmm. Something's got this. This place just puts me on like creepy mode. Just something very, very, very wrong. Which you know goes without saying because obviously bad stuff is about to happen, but. It really amped up with the music and effects of it being much creepier. One more? Yep. Uh-oh. What's happening? What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako. All 
to birth a new breed of monster. Dreamers and worse. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Ugh, what a horrid thing. My mother's name was Genova. Could it be that I was created the same way? Am I the same as these monsters? Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different, that I was special, but not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Am I even human? Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. go no more fun sorry everyone fun is canceled as he was heading for shinra manor and he acted like i wasn't even there oh is he, i suppose oh good oh good that's just fantastic he pulled up inside the mansion something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor too much exposure to mako and we ought to bring him some medicine can't see Tifa up in her room. That would be kind of cool if she was like looking down. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed toward the mansion. That's great. You're on guard with a rifle. I guess there are monsters. That makes sense. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town, and older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. This is really cool, like, as someone who likes the original, like, Resident Evil quite a bit still. This is such a cool thing. Like, I... Okay, hold, hold on. Let's go inside first, and then I'll talk about it. Creepy ass building. All right. So the the one thing though is that I'm definitely more on the side of I I don't know exactly why they did this, but like having played the original and Dirge of Cerberus, the the going into the up upper part was always such a key thing because you go down that spiral staircase and at this point like for whatever reason in rebirth they decided to redesign this and I, this is probably one of the things that i missed the most 
I wish that this was still accessible. So cool to see it like redone and looking different in some ways. I mean, that's interesting. I like, I like it, but. I look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Yeah, the maid hasn't been in here in a while, has she? Now it's an elevator down, which to me isn't as fun. I miss that spiral staircase. It's still in the original. It's fine. Different versions and whatnot. I'm curious, though, and if anybody wants to comment about it, if there's been any kind of was news to me too doubt anyone in the village had a clue i'm curious if anyone knows if there's been like an interview where somebody said why they redesigned it this way but i am curious there are more curiosities but we'll get there Lots of weird scribblings. Pandemonium. Horn B. No entry, and that sign is accurate. There will be no entry. All right, so Sephiroth is just behind, beyond this door, beyond this passageway. So this is actually where I'm going to stop this video for now, just because actually real life things. But when we come back, we'll find out the exciting conclusion towards the uh, towards this flashback. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. See you later.